people and welcome to my channel. As you see in front of me here, I've got a Flexvolt battery and it's designed to run Flexvolt tools. Like so. This is also designed to run XR tools. Like you can see. So how can that be? How come that 54 volt battery doesn't make this 18 volt machine explode? Simply put, because it's two things at once, it's an XR battery and it's a flex volt battery. So, to show how this is, I'm going to need the aid of this multimeter. With the meter on, this is reading 19.5 volts, which is the same voltage as an XR battery. As you can clearly see, that's around the same voltage. To further explain, this is an XR battery. When it charges, it's an XR battery when it's sitting here. It only becomes a flexvolt battery when it slides onto a flexvolt tool. To explain how this happens, I'm going to have to show you an XR and a flexvolt side by side. Show their connectors to show you why they're different. As you see, this is the XR. This is only got four connectors. You see, this is extra connectors. Not only that, there's a couple of extra raised up pieces in the body. And I'm going to show you what they do. To show you what those extra connectors do, and to show you what that raised up part of the body does, I'm going to carry a little demonstration using the middle again. You see it's on 19.6 there. So the extra connectors, to simulate the extra connectors, I'm going to connect these two terminals with this wire. And that's what your connectors and your flex volt are doing when you slide that on. The other thing they're doing is pushing on this black slider and if you watch the voltage in the meter how it changes when I put on this black slider you'll see what I mean so that's gone up to 59.1 volts so that's when your battery becomes a flex volt just when it slides onto your tool so I hope that explains what a flex volt battery is all about